we will talk about which is better omega 3 omega 6 or omega 9 what are the main differences and which are most beneficial for our body let's start with omega 3 omega 3 is considered essential essential fatty acids essential means that our body cannot synthesize omega-3 and we should intake it from food most common example is fish and fish oil it's omega-3 uh, omega-3 are essential in many cases for example it's important to form brain cells uh, it's important to for for formation of uh, lipid membrane of brain cells and not only brain but in whole body but especially in brain it's important also it's important for uh, children's development during pregnancy and during infancy also it's important to create neurons and for retina also important for our vision and omega-3 improves cognitive function in adults and older adults especially and also important for eye health also it decreases plaque formation in arteries it's very important and protective function of um, omega-3 and it improves cardiovascular uh, health and uh, decreased risk of stroke and in the liver it decreases formation of triglycerides and it improves also fatty acid oxidation fatty acid oxidation means burning of fatty acids instead of form tri triglycerides so we burning uh, fatty acids instead of formating them as a fat cells so it has anti-obesity action also and very important is also that uh, omega-3 participates formation of many uh, hormones and eucosanoids also eucosanoids are pro-inflammatory cytokines like prostaglandins thromboxanes leukotrienes but here is very important uh, key point which we should know that omega-3 and omega-6 both creates eucosanoids and eucosanoids uh, from eucosanoids we get prostaglandins thromboxanes and leukotrienes which are pro-inflammatory but here's key difference that um, eucosanoids uh, derived from omega-3 are less potent and they have less inflammatory action while um, these eucosanoids uh, getting from omega-6 are more inflammatory and more potent and that's why we get thrombs, we get thromb formation, we get inflammation. So eucosanoids for from omega-6 are pro-inflammatory and omega from omega-3 are anti-inflammatory. That's why omega-3 has anti-inflammatory action, omega-6 has pro-inflammatory action. So omega-6 increases inflammation, omega-3 uh, omega decreases inflammation. This is key difference, key difference. Uh, but it does not mean that omega-6 is bad, um, but high amount, high amount of omega-6 is really harmful, but uh, less amount, it's normal and it's neutral. But there's important important that we should intake omega-3 also and uh, important is ratio between omega-3 and omega-6 we need omega-3 for healthy metabolism and healthy production of eucosanoids so omega-3 is more essential and more important because we already getting enough uh, omega-6 from almost everything from uh, almost any oils contain uh, omega-6 and modern diet is full of fats and that's why we get uh, enough omega-6 but in many cases we don't get enough omega-3 so it's important key point also here is important um, important question that EPA and DHA 
and both of them are part of uh, part of omega-3 epa and dha and which is better and which should i buy or which is better to consume both of them are important but dha is needed more tra for structural components for brain for retina for heart for memory learning cognitive functions and also it impro improves a heart rhythm so dha is in more important for structural components or for older adults uh, dha is better um, because it improves cognitive function it decreases risk of alzheimer's disease and for brain structures from retina dha is important and more healthier and uh, more uh, it, it has more benefits but epa is also, also important epa is anti-inflammatory epa improves and um, also epa is important for production of um, dopamine serotonin and it has antidepressant effect and anti-anxiety effect so epa is also important um, EPA also uh, is promoted as heart health because it decreases in inflammation importantly decrease uh, production of triglycerides also so both of them are good for our health both of them are healthy uh, it actually it's too difficult to differentiate which is more beneficial um, I can say that both of them is good and uh, for example fish oil contains both of them so no need to separate them in taking both of them is healthy and in taking both of them is better toy uh, choice for me now let's say about omega-6 omega-6 we said that it's not healthy uh, especially in modern diet we're getting enough and more than enough omega-6 so no need to add something and furthermore we can say that omega-6 can increase the risk of some cancers including breast cancer and colorectal cancer so omega-6 is not good choice if you want supplement of even it's essential it's essential our body can produce omega-6 but it's not healthy and now about omega-9 nuts contain omega-9 with high amount and seeds also flax seed and chia seed contains omega-9 it's not essential it means our body can produce omega-9 it's great it's uh, actually it's very important that it's not essential so no need to worry about omega-9 too much you should pay attention of omega-3 because omega-3 is essential and we can't uh, we can't synthesize uh, omega-3 in our body and it's important that we get omega-3 because we already getting too much omega-6 and balance between them is very important but omega-9 is fatty acid we can synthesize in our body so no need to worry too much about it uh, it it has some important benefits like decrease LDL or bad cholesterol, increase HDL or good cholesterol, improves insulin sensitivity, and it um, it may be helpful for people who has insulin resistance and risk of diabetes. But it's not crucial. Uh, it's not very crucial because it's not essential. And when we need it, our body synthesizes it for enough amount. Uh, and nuts olive oil canola oil also contains omega-9 and uh, now let's summarize um, first place and best is omega-3 second is omega-9 and third place and negative third place is omega-6 omega-6 is not healthy uh, if we say in big picture it's not healthy but of course maybe someone has that yes omega-6 also has anti-inflammatory effect and it, it also has has benefit for production of cells and cell membrane and for skin and such yes that's true but in big picture if we look at big picture especially in modern diet we get too much omega-6 and we don't need 
such high amount of omega-6 from oils, from processed foods. So we need more omega-3. That's why fish is important. Fish oil is important. And if person wants supplements, of course, and daily dosage is around two grams, uh, less than two grams. Two grams is upper limit of omega-3. That's all I wanted to say. Thank you for your interest. Thank you for your watching. If you like my video, please thumbs up. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye for now.